Hi, my name is Ecstatic Soul, and you catching me live on Functions. Do you have a DJ contract? Yeah, I do have a DJ contract. Whenever you book me, we give you a DJ contract. It has to state uh, whenever you have a DJ contract, just you, you just have to make sure the the, the promoter gets um, make sure that the promoter gets uh, the the whole thing clearly. In the you have to draft up everything clearly in your contract, stating the the deposit money, uh, stating the location of the place. Whenever you go out, me whenever let's say I, since I live in uh, Joburg, if ever I'm booked in Durban, I, they need they need to make sure they, they they get accommodation there. They need to get me transport to the to the gig and just uh, whatever uh, whatever beverage is needed at the gig need to be stated everything in the contract. So yeah, and if promoters don't pay back, like if promoters don't meet their their. Uh, the other half of the deposit because now they have to pay uh, the deposit first before you get there and then maybe pay the deposit a week before before you go to the gig so if they if they don't meet the 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 the, the other half of the money you have to stay clearly at the contract that there, there won't be any refunds for the for for the gig in which you're going to be attending if if you go to a gig with guests yeah. do you cater for them in your contract no, it specifies for one person. It only includes one. It depends because contracts differ from every uh, for every uh, DJ out there. So when it, you can specify, maybe you want two people to be included in the uh, into be into in order for them to be catered for at the event, or you can just specify just one person. You can bring your agent or your manager or whatever. But then your yeah, contracts differ uh, in terms of uh, what kind of uh, what what do you need as an artist actually. Yeah, I once I once received uh, a contract when I used to organize events. Yeah, it was a technical writer. This guy specified mm. what kind of light he wanted on the decks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and also it specifies. Yeah, you need to make sure that whenever you go out, whenever because I also specify I need a certain, a certain kind of DJing tools whenever I get there. You know, because I play using USBs, so I can't. I won't write a lot of CDs and go to your gig. So I need USBs because it's it's an easier way of playing nowadays. You understand? So yeah, it's easier for me to. So yeah, that's what I put in my contract. Actually, actually, so it's easier for me whenever I get, go to a gig, I just bring two USBs or three USBs and just play. So yeah, as I'm saying, it's, it differs from from uh, DJ to DJ actually. Yeah. Now. Um if it happens that you get to the gig, yeah. your requirements are not met. Yeah. For example, you requested um, CDJ 2000 yeah. and they say they couldn't get them yeah. and now they have CDJ 100. I think it's important for the, uh, the event organizers to tell you beforehand, before you get there, and tell you, saying, okay, my man, we couldn't get this and this and this, and then we can decide, maybe they can compensate for what they did. And then yeah, you can just talk to each other. It depends on the relationship you're going to be having with that event organizer and stuff. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you cater for that instant in your contract? No, we, we don't cater for that instant. That's what I'm saying. It depends on like, apart from the contract, we have to. It, 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 it depends on the relationship we have with the event organizer. Mm -hmm. But then, just in general, we we we, we won't go there. Mm. Yeah, if they can't, if they don't have, if they didn't meet, uh, what, what, uh, meet anything, if they just breach anything in the contract, then it just clears out. Yeah. Your contract, um, did how how did you draft it? Did you get a template? Did you get a lawyer? Uh, we got a template, but there was an agency that uh, helped me, and then I've got an agent now who who is used to doing the whole thing, so he he drafted it properly for me and then he told me what do I need so we just sat down and just you know, told each other okay this is what you how much do you charge how much you what do you want when you get to the event how many people should be catered for whenever you get to the event and stuff so yeah I got an agent who specializes in the whole contract things yeah now someone told me sometimes the promoters ask for the invoice why are you charging them a certain amount is that necessary? Like they they asked they asked for invoices. Why do I charge a certain amount? Mm, mm. 
like break down your charge to them yeah because yeah yeah the invoice is important so that they know exactly what they're paying for very obviously so yeah it's good the invoice breaks down everything from the performance from the from the transportation getting to the gig for from the yeah it's pretty much most of the thing just anything to do with the event from from here and going to the event and performing and the beverages or whatever i'm going to be getting there that's how it has to be break, broken down mm. yeah you do you have ever not been paid <laughs> no i pay that's why i'm saying the contract states clearly that you have to pay we give dates out so we send like emails and saying you have to pay the first deposit at this time in this uh, uh, at, at this stage about your due date is this date and then a week before we send another email saying like yeah okay you need to pay like uh, uh, maybe like a month before we send an email saying uh, uh, saying you have to pay a week before the gig so if the other half is not paid, then uh, we don't go to the gig. So before we go to the gig, we make sure all the money is, uh, is secured and then yeah, we're off to the gig. Okay. Yeah. What advice would you give upcoming DJs in terms of drafting their contract? Yeah, I think it's a very important that every DJ gets paid. The whole playing for free thing is not, it's, for me it's not on because now whenever we get the like it's labor you're doing work it's something you're entertaining people it's important that every dj out there gets paid because you're part of the entertainment whatever event you whatever event whatever whether it's a tavern whether it's a big club or whatever every person has to get paid money's money's being paid there so everyone i'm just advising every dj to get it make sure that they get paid out there and then they need to get contracts for every uh for promoters uh uh what you call event organizers so that they may see what you because it's a job it's, it's something you take seriously as well you understand so yeah